very lucky because whenever I am traveling in Baghdad, yes. it's always at a time when it is less traffic. Less <laughs> yeah. So. And welcome to the holy city of Karbala in southern Iraq. This behind me here is the shrine of Imam Hussein, who is the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, he was son of Imam Ali. Son of Imam Ali. Um, just a few days ago, I was in Najaf, which is the shrine for Imam Ali, and this is for his son Imam Hussein, uh, who was murdered, murdered, uh, killed. Um, Bartered by Yazid ibn Muawiyah. All right, excellent. So yes. you can see it's really beautiful. All of the tiles and the gold work on the top, and uh, hundreds of pilgrims, thousands of pilgrims. We are here. we are enter this and see everything more in the, inside there. I can't wait okay. to yeah, I can't wait to see it. Let's go yeah, explore. Yes. See, see, Joel, what happened here. So this is what's the name of this place? Bain al Haramain. Bain al Haramain. This between uh, the Imam Hussein Mosque, which you just come from, Imam Hussein, yes. which sadly no photos are allowed inside. Yes, on this side is Imam Abbas, Abu Fadl al Abbas, He's the stepbrother of yes. Imam Hussein. Yes. Imam. So we're learning lots about. We are. We are going to the, the Imam Abbas to see what the, everything here. Fantastic. He's his, his Arab style. I don't like to follow the problem, but that would be my own. <laughs> Inside uh, Imam Abbas. Abbas yes. um, so you can have photos and videos inside this one. You can see the gold that's right behind here. It's all this golden shrine. Yes. And what's really interesting as well is the ceiling right above here. Yes, you see this. You'll see this is very good. This tile. Yeah. Is yes. there a name for this style? Like the way that it kind of like drops down. Yes. Those shapes. Well, this is Arabic style. Yeah. Or maybe it's Islamic. I think. Like this. Yeah, it's incredibly detailed. Yes. Like everything in here is just absolutely gorgeous. So, yes. see you on the inside. It is the light. I think maybe 500 years built this, or 300. No one is 
Nobody knows how no, it is. All people. No one. Okay. All Kerbala people, no one. No how to do this. So it's an, all a mystery the, all, for everyone. All the history mm -hmm. tell us is uh, about jinn. Interesting. Yeah. So it's like the magical, mystical oh, door right, yes. that nobody knows where it came from. Yes. This side, I don't know. Right, okay. Yes. It's killing time. Killing time. Wait, Jaffa. Wait, Jaffa. I'm going to the old city, this castle, and Razaza, and anything else. Yeah, yeah. This is completely. The center. I remember when I come to here, I see the garden. Oh yes. Yes, but I, I forget where this way.
Yes, it is. Some people say there's ghosts here. Some ghosts? Some ghosts, yes. Yeah. 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 Have you seen one before? Myself, I don't see any ghosts here. But did you? Uh, so you do here or any place or in your life? Yes, I think I have seen a ghost. Really? Yeah, I. I don't know for sure, yes. but in America, there's a very famous place where people go to watch for a ghost train. Yes. Yeah, so you yes. know, like the trains that go on the railroad. And it uh, had an accident, I think yes. maybe 200 years ago. Yes, it's in the forest. And it's in the middle of the forest, yeah. Yes. It's in the middle of the forest in America. And you go at night, and you're looking down the train track. There's nothing, all black. Yes. Black, black, nothing. In, in, in the real distance, life. in real life, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the distance, we see. I was with my family, lots of friends. And in the distance, you see this white light that appears. Oh, the front of the train. Yeah, like the front of the train, yes. Yeah. And it comes racing down the track towards you, like really, really close, like really fast. Yeah, really, really fast. And then when it gets off right, yeah, like you think you're gonna be hit by a train, but you don't hear anything. There's no noise. Just there's no sound. The light, just the light. The light. Yeah. yeah. And then when it gets really close to you, it's like, whoosh, and then it goes, whoosh, and just disappears, yeah. And, and you're left in the middle of the night, in the dark, looking down this empty train track, wondering, what did I just see? Like, how old are you when, when you see it? Um, the first time I saw it was maybe, I think I was 20 years old. 20 years old. Yeah. Oh. Because you are 14 now. Yeah. I will. <laughs> you should tell my age. This <laughs> is a nice story. <laughs> no, that's so wrong. <laughs> yeah, well. This is a warrior. So good. He is dying. Uh, son. It's a rat. It's a rat. Oh, this. This Sahara. I think the deal is too big. It's too big. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Well, the best power is from the top. Power. Nice of you. We are fighting to small birds. Raptor? Yes. I, I don't know. What is this animal? You can't see it. I think. I think bird. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we see the, the mother. Yeah, Remember? the mother was flying, was flying down the hall. He's left. Yes. Going away, but. Because afraid from us. Yeah, the owl that flies. Yeah, it's, it's real life now. 
Not acting. Yes. Very good, yes. Okay. What are you thinking? <laughs> we are fighting. You know about the story about Gilgamesh? Gilgamesh? Yes, Gilgamesh epic. Yes, very ancient Sumerian. Yes, yes. Western church, yes. But here, we're actually east of Jerusalem, and most churches sort of point to Jerusalem, not away from it. So, it's interesting to me, it feels like maybe it's backwards. I think that. Um, like maybe that end should be where the priest was. Yes, I think the enter door this this yeah. way. This door yeah, right there. Yeah, that looks like the And to come there to making a break. Yeah. Yes. But I think in a traditional like church... Okay. It, Orthodox one, it would be the other way. Yeah, okay. He yes. told me to find some something. Yeah. Okay. I told you because I think it's like here, maybe jungles, water. Yes, I think. Because it's very big church.
Ja, aber was soll er Very American. Yeah? Yes. However, uh, after a bit of time, I moved to the UK where I started to speak a little bit more like a British person. Yes. For example, British language. Even though I never really got a good British accent, I did yes. have a little uh, bit of the intonation and some of the pronunciation. Yes. Um, however, it does sound a little bit like I am just making fun of British people. Yes. <laughs> My friend is named Haider. A second name is named Bagge. Second name Bagge. Hey, we want to uh, say for why don't come here. Anything, joke for joke. Yes. Uh, he's not, not coming here, yes. Hello, Haider Bega. Why are you not here? Uh, yes. <laughs> Do you know what to mean? What do you mean? The same thing. حبيبي لا على بعض الله بعض الخمس تالف. Here in Karbala, I've been staying with Mustafa and his family, and they've been so friendly, and it's been so nice to experience Karbala through the eyes of someone who is a, a local. And not just a local, but a, a Saeed, someone who's lived here for generations. Um, and it's been super fun. All the mosques, all the shrines, the ancient castles, the pre-Islamic and pre-Christian history, the, the Babylonian Empire that was here, so many ruins and uh, ancient sites, along with some of the modern things as well. Yes. It's been a great, fantastic time. Great. Uh, tell us people about the 24 hours is walking in the train, is, uh, <laughs> in the marketing. Yeah, the uh, one thing that's really impressed me is how things never sleep here. It just doesn't stop. No like stop. everything is seems like it's always open. Always. Um, late at night, you see kids that are out at the shrines and the shopping streets. You see families going. You know, one, two o'clock in the morning. It seems that there are people that are still visiting the shrines and visiting places and the shops are open and the cafes and the restaurants it just never seems to stop um, so I think that's again very different from America mm. which is quite empty by empty, comparison yes, you know? empty. I mean America is a big country but with a lot of space and so it doesn't feel like it's crowded whereas here yeah. ancient country so one of the oldest civilizations in the world and there's just always people uh, always awake always around and it's just you'll never be lonely i'll tell you that you'll never be alone no. you'll never be lonely if you visit iraq about the uh, news and the about talk about iraq it's dangerous it's problem is fighting is no life tell um, me about uh, what you see before i came to iraq 
you know, the image is that it's filled with war and violence. It's the only thing you see on the news. Um, but the news really is only a small percentage of our everyday reality. And Iraq has got millions of people that live here, they get married, they have kids, they go to school, they have jobs, they get divorced, they die, they have family members that move away, that come back, they go to the supermarket, they drive cars, they everything that you would do in a normal life, all these millions of people are doing here. And the news only represents a small percentage. Yes. Are the news stories true? Well, yeah. yes, those things do happen. Yeah. But so do all the other things that make life so rich and full and meaningful. And I think if you were to choose where you go in the world or where you live in the world, only on the news, by the same logic, you probably wouldn't move back to your own home country because of gun violence or political problems or the news headlines that come out of the UK or America or China or anywhere else in the world. And so it's understanding that there are millions of people that want to have a normal life, that love to live, and Iraq is just another one of those places. Good, thank you. Nice to meet you.